Hey everyone, it's Sarah reporting in with your daily glitch for Friday, January 23rd, 2015. The Witcher Battle Arena is a free-to-play MOBA that contains no pay-to-win elements. CD Projekt Red claims that players can fairly unlock all elements in the game using a familiar, player-friendly monetization system. Players will be set into teams of three and have a choice of nine available characters. The goal of the game is to secure areas on the map while holding off the other teams. The Witcher Battle Arena is available now, for free, for iOS and Android devices. Dying Light, the first-person parkour action zombie game, is set to release worldwide next week. However, that is only going to be a digital release in some locations according to the game's developers. The Americas will see a physical release date on the same day, but the rest of the world is set to see a February 27th release date of physical copies. To help soothe the blow of the month delay, the developers released the pre-order features for the game. Everyone who pre-ordered will receive extra weapon dockets. Additionally, the previously announced Be the Zombie mode will be free for everyone on all platforms in all territories. Originally, this game mode was set to be a pre-order bonus only. While we may not be seeing Pokin anytime soon, the recently revealed trailers are building quite a buzz in the West. Some of the notable features that were revealed in the fighting trailers were that trainers would be involved in the game, the Pokemon would have cool intro poses and be able to Mega Evolve, and that the moves the Pokemon use are directly related to the ones they have in the classic games. Additionally, it was revealed that there would be secondary Pokemon that players could summon once the support gauge is full. It's a shame that we won't be seeing a release of this game in the U.S. Finally, make sure you don't forget that PAX South, or the Penny Arcade Gaming Expo, is currently going on now. It may not be the biggest PAX event this year, but it does have some big-name panels that are being live-streamed now at twitch.tv slash PAX. Check it out, and check back for more news on the event. That's today's big news, but if you want to stay up to date, you can follow us on Twitter at GlitchFeed or check out the weekly GlitchFeed podcast on iTunes for more news on all things gaming.